as a flight attendant flying to Japan, there was a woman that would close her restaurant at night from 5.30 to 7.30 at night and teach flight attendants how to make covered eggs, covered boxes. Well, I saw these dolls and I went, oh, I'd like to make those. And Yoko said, oh no, I can't teach you. Yuriko will have to come to, uh, come to Narita. Uh, you have to make a special appointment. And I said, okay. So I ended up working on the dolls. And when you make the dolls, um, it's two parts. Um, it's not a whole kimono. Well, I get home and get frustrated. I couldn't get the kimono. So Yuriko said, all right, she goes, we'll concentrate on the kimono. Um, so she took a Japanese bus schedule, which was cardboard, made pattern pieces for me for this size kimono. So once a week for five years, I met with her till I got the kimono exactly right. Everything is measured, everything is exact. So just like a silk kimono, there's certain pieces that have to go a certain way, certain curves, and I got it. I framed one as a gift, and that's how I started making the kimono. So that was 18 years ago. What was special to me was Yuriko was 79 years old. So to me, that is an inspiration because it's a traditional thing that I feel very honored and very privileged that I'm carrying on. Um, I would like to pass it on also because the younger generation is not doing things that have come through the century, so to speak. Um, I go to Japan once every two years to buy my papers. So in Japan, they take this large sheet, which is 24 by 36. They fold it in half, wrap it around a pole, put a damp paper around it. With two wood pieces, they push and push. The tool is called a momi die, and this is the result. So what it actually does is it compresses the sheet into this. So that's an art in itself because as you see, all the detail is still in it. If you want something different and exciting to see, it's to come to Celebration of Art because the, the excellence in art that I see here and even myself, I'm so impressed with what I see. I did not know like how a bronze piece was made. I did not know um, the different, like the difference between an oil and acrylic, and how much time it takes to work on those pieces. So, to me, you, you need more than one day. I definitely think so. And come and enjoy it, and you can talk to the artist. That's what makes it special to me. That's what I think why people should come and meet the artist. That's what we're here for. You know, so you can engage with the artist, and then. When you purchase a piece of art, that makes it more special because you've actually made, met the person who made it.